process has started. We have begun yeah. taking things down. Scout doesn't know what to think about it. So you see a lot of the things that were up on the walls are no longer on the walls. This is all the things that were on the walls. It felt like more <laughs> was on the walls, but or not. There was stuff all right here on the walls. We had stuff here and over there and up here, over there. So now we're in the process of figuring out how to get it all down, packed up, and ready to go to the new one. We have, you can see we have our temporary folding table because we got rid of this table that was here. And tomorrow we're heading to Georgia to pick up all of the interior stuff. Six hours each way to go get the table that was here, the valances that were up there, and the cabinets that cover Scout's habitat. I think. I think that is all in there. Yeah, two chairs. Yeah, and two more chairs for the table. The table, all the window coverings, and those two cabinet doors. We'll take you along with us on our trip to Georgia to our storage unit. We're going to take some things and drop off and then pick up all the stuff to trade in this RV. Yeah. Well, the process of trading in RVs for us has begun. It's a little different than most people's because we altered our RV so much by taking out the dining room yeah. table and taking out the boxy valances and altering where Scout lives, taking those doors off. Yeah. When we did that originally, we put all that stuff in storage in Georgia. And normally when you trade in an RV, they're like, they'll just take it as is if there's only a few minor changes. Yeah. But since we changed so much, the dealer asked us if we would be willing to come back to our storage unit and get those things. Yeah. Not necessarily reinstall those things, but at least come back and get them. Yeah. And uh, our storage is in Fort Benning, Georgia. Our RV is in Tampa, Florida, so it's about six hours each way. So we're going to drive down there or up there. Yeah. We're going to drive up there today. We're going to get the stuff, stay the night with Lauren, our daughter, and uh, tomorrow we drive back with the stuff. Yeah. So I know it seems like a lot, but we got a really good deal. Yeah. And... Uh, I think that if I was buying our RV, I'd probably want that stuff back too. Oh, I absolutely would want our stuff back. So I don't think it was unreasonable for them to ask. Yeah. Now, had we been purchasing an RV in California, I'd have been like, eh, yeah, it might be a different story. Yeah, I'm not going home for that. <laughs> so it's early. Uh, we just left Tampa. It's about 9 o'clock. But we have our coffee. And um, heading up I-75 North. For you, it'll just be a couple of seconds, but for us, it'll be a few hours. We'll show you what we're talking about when we get to our, our storage unit, all the stuff that we have to pack into the truck and take back down to, to Florida. Yeah. Step one Step of one. many <laughs> yeah. still to come in the in the process. Yes. Well, we made it to the storage, and Leslie's going to crank her on open. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> All right. This is crazy. I'm gonna have the box like collapse and fell up against the wall. I'm gonna have to crawl in here <laughs> and unsmash the box if I can get in here. Try not to get too dirty. I gotta get in. I know. how that happened. These bottom, the bottom of the box smashed and when I did it, it pushed up against and then this whole this was up here and it all just leaned up against the, the door. Well you can see here is the uh, the table dining room table frame and the top of it a couple extra chairs and then way back there are the uh, window treatments or the window 
frames. This is definitely more than I remember it being. With as the doors that go on the scout's habitat. And I totally forgot about these guys, which is the shelves where our washer dryer were. So we gotta bring those. These are the little shelves that went on the side of the bed that we took off. Forgot about those. Here is our current situation. We have everything that's not RV involved back in our storage. As you see, we talk about this all the time. We have a five by ten, and it's not even not even full. That's everything we own on the planet besides what's in the RV. And then we have all of the window treatments and accessories back here in the back of the truck. And then back here, we have the chairs, the table, the extra shelves for when we take the washer and dryer back out, the table frame, and then this little bitty space right here <laughs> is where a Scout's gonna go. I tell you, he's super excited about this whole situation. Hi, buddy. You got him unzipped a little bit here. Anyway, I don't know if you can see him or not, but Scout's in there. And he's like not very excited about it. Neither am I, Scout. Yeah. We're loaded up. Six hours here. Loaded up in about, what, half hour? -ish? Half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah, not bad. So now we're going to head over to Lauren's. Have dinner with her. Crashed her overnight. Six hours back down to town. Woo! We're back. Back at it. Again. And Lauren lives about 45 minutes further west than where we had to go for the storage. So today is almost a seven hour drive as opposed to a six hour, well, really it was six hours to the, the thing and then another 45 minutes to her. So yesterday in total was still, still the same, same but Anyway, it feels longer because we're leaving from her house and have to do the whole leg in one shot. And yeah. we get a later start today than yeah. we did yesterday. Only a half an hour. And, um, I, you know, we, we, we film little segments as we're driving and we never know which ones we're going to use. And so this one we're definitely going to use, though, because Leslie sacrificed a fingernail. <laughs> to put the GoPro mount back up on the windshield because either A, I didn't put it on good enough or B, it's too cold out and didn't stick right because it's 40 degrees here. It is 40. So we're looking forward to getting further south. Yeah. Back south. So Scout. Yeah, Scout is pissed because... Probably he's not going to talk to me for days. No, because we like traveled all day yesterday and we didn't bring his his other carrier he's just been in his little travel carrier yeah so this is be the second full day in the travel carrier because by yeah. the time we get home he's gonna be like an hour before bedtime yeah and so yeah he's not digging it no he's not i'm not digging it <laughs> but we got coffee yeah. so that's good yeah. and um we got all our stuff all, all the rv stuff yeah. In here. I hope that they appreciate it's like a Tetris back there it's effort all. so um, <laughs> luckily for you it'll only be a few seconds yeah. before we're back to Tampa but for us <laughs> about six and a half more hours <laughs> now we're in the process of putting everything back the way it was and so that means Scout's habitat has to come out and we got to put the doors back on there and we'll rebuild in the new habitat when we get into the new RV. Yeah. How do you feel about and when, having... when we say we, we mean me. Yes. I will be rebuilding. Yes. We will rebuild. How do you feel about having to take apart this awesome habitat that you built? I'm not excited about it at all. Because it was a pain in the butt to build in the first place. And to have to just take it all out and redo it again. Sounds painful. Hey, you wanted a new RV. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>
And Scout's over here watching us dismantle his house. Mm -hmm. And so he's going to be misplaced for a Where couple of days until mm -hmm. we can get the new space built. He's all mad because he was like climbing stuff that we were packing and I put him back over here and so we'd let him climb all of the the stuff that we packed up. So he's a salty dog right now. <laughs> Plus I got the camera on him, which he's always a huge fan of. Yeah. Ledger is hard at work. <laughs> and I'm eating Howie bread. That's how all projects should go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. You don't have an option now. This garage door, got too many of them. Give us a call and we can help. Don't get mad because I have a Howie bread. <laughs> I don't want a Howie bread. So there. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going there, by the way? It's going pretty good. Huh? Yeah. All right. And just like that, Scout's house is back to storage. It looks really weird. Yeah. I but it's look, gonna, I think it looked better as a habitat than it does with I door. Think so too. <laughs> or I just looked at it for so long that I can't, yeah. I can't imagine it having doors on it. But it looks weird. It does look weird. It makes the space look smaller. Yeah. Because it was open and you, you could see yeah. inside there all the time. So, oh well. What do you think, buddy? You're homeless. Like, they you looked keep up there like, at it like, like yo. That's, that's my house. <laughs> what is going on, man? I don't like it. Yeah. Now I gotta clean up all the mess. Yeah, this is all the carnage of all the stuff. And then, you know, yesterday we did, uh, took the, well, we took the table out, our table several days ago we gave it to Lawrence and Natalie from the Brazen Brits because they wanted to take their booth out of their RV and then we when we get, went back to, to Georgia to get this out of storage we reinstalled this last night after we got back so this looks awkward too and takes up a ton of space which we didn't even, we didn't even realize until we put this back like how much room this thing took up and realize why we took it out exactly <laughs> so yeah. um, I don't think the the one in the new alliance is nearly as big and bulky and cumbersome well no because it doesn't have this built in yeah that's true and it's five inches wider yeah the whole rv and you don't have the carpet transition yeah down here so it, it makes looks it like one fluid it makes floor. it feel bigger and then you won't have this lip down here yeah over here so it makes the whole thing feel wider yeah. now we have everything loaded up this is the last time we'll be towing the montana yeah we got everything ready this morning. We got everything out of the truck, all the, the window stuff, all the stuff that needs to go back in there, in there this morning, got everything disconnected. We didn't film any of that yeah. because I didn't want to get distracted. Yeah. And filming takes time, so I apologize for not showing you any of that. We're on a timeline. We are on a timeline <laughs> and it, you know, you don't want to mess anything up, especially yeah. you're getting ready to go trade this thing in. And so any kind of distraction could throw you off your game. Yeah. And I just didn't want to risk it. Yeah. And so um, we're gonna we'll show you when we get there what the inside of the Montana looks like with all of our stuff all packed up. It's out. a it looks disaster. Crazy. There. But um, you know, I've noticed that uh, I've noticed that that YouTubers in the RV niche when they change RVs, you rarely ever see footage of them changing RVs. It's just like, ta-da, we're in a new RV. Or you see them like go from one door to the next door with stuff. Yeah, you but, don't get to see the process. Yeah. And the struggle is real. Oh my God. I don't ever want to move out of this <laughs> next RV. I, this is not fun. It is not fun at all. I mean, we had a little extra step having to go to Georgia and back. Yeah. However, even if we didn't have to do that, it would still suck. It, yeah. And, and, and as bad as it has sucked already, I don't think the suckiest parts are over yet. No, the suck has just begun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're there. We're walking back. We're getting our first look. We have Scout down here. We have to take him in there because uh, he needs to be plugged in. It's just too cold to leave him in the truck or in the RV without power. Yeah. Uh, they got this one hooked to power. They're detailing it out. And there she is.
All right, so here's the first look with the slides out. Woo! <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Those are little balloons. This is so cute. Very cool. We have to meet how they do that. We'll finish and touch it. Can't wait to shower in this shower. Yeah. Very cool. Well, that's the first look. We're super excited. Yes about getting a new RV, we are not super excited about what we have to do next. Yes. Move all of our crap in here. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get started. All righty. This, uh, this is the chaos in here of all the crap uh, that we had to get from Georgia and bring. And uh, so that's all the stuff. Now, now the fun part begins. Woo! Well, I thought it was going to take like an hour or two. Oh, wait. You were naive. I thought it would take a couple hours. <laughs> it took. We're on hour number five. Yeah. And we just got done. We and, got, and stuff's not even where it needs no, to be. No, we it's threw it in there. In there. <laughs> and in there and where it's not going to shift around when we're driving. Yeah. That's it. Oh, this process hurts so much. Um, I cannot describe for you how painful this process is. Yeah. So if you're thinking I, like. I, I didn't think it would be this bad. No, if you think you're going to switch rigs. And it's gonna be great. Think and about you it see, all along. Like people on YouTube, like, oh, it's switching rigs every couple of years. And this is awesome. It's great. No, I don't know it's how not. They do it. It's not great. I don't know how they do it. It is not great. It's lies. It's all lies. It's a lie. Don't fall for it. Please but, tell me if years from now somebody remind me when I say I want to upgrade to an RV. Remind me of this day, because I'm not. I'm dying in that rig. I am not leaving it. We have this video evidence of her saying that she's going to not want to ever change unless, rigs again. Unless I can pay somebody to do it for me. I'm never, I'm not moving stuff like this ever again. This was torture. It was torture. Oh my God. And now it's time to say goodbye to the Montana. We're going to do one final walkthrough, make sure we didn't forget anything. I thought I would be emotional about leaving our first rig, but I am so beat down. That I have no emotions, no emotions to give. <laughs> I just can't. No emotions. Maybe later I'll get emotional that I'm not in it. But no. right now, I have sweated out all the water in my body. I got no, no water to give. And we didn't have time to record a lot of that. Uh, you know, a few no. time lapses. This is a very small center. RV yeah, center. so it's tight. Very small. So they couldn't put us like side by side. No. And we are blocking their maintenance enter and exit. And so they need us to be gone as fast as possible. And so this was a whirlwind, get everything out and we'll deal with it later. Yeah. Final walk through here. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Chaos. Carnage. Mayhem. It's crazy. It's a mess. But it's the first time vlogging in the new RV. <laughs> and uh, we got back uh, in daylight. Yeah. And got to, uh, got to back in. Again. Yeah, and we were coming in like, <laughs> like right at five o'clock. So I'm blocking the only way in or out uh, yeah. of the RV park. Mm -hmm. There's a food truck over there. Right to, right the to where I got to swing way. in. And a guy in a big ass boat, <laughs> pulling a big boat, pulls in right behind me. So we went in, and the, the plan was to go in the park, go around the back, and then come back in. So I had to go back in and then back out. Yeah, yeah. Well, now, food truck's here where I got to swing. Boat guy's Boat. parked there where I got to go up to, to get enough swing. So I can't go up or swing. People are pissed. Can't get out. You're backing up. It was terrible. It was. It was What was horrible. crazy was the boat guy found him, and he moved. Yeah. You know, and then the food truck lady asked if she mind moving so we could get it and she just gave me her keys and she said you can move it she, 
She just gave me the keys to her Suburban and said, yeah, you got it. Yeah, but once everybody got out of the way, it, was, good. it still sucked. And I wasn't it, looking yeah. forward to it with no obstacles. And then I get there and there's obstacles everywhere. everywhere. And it was, and then people are coming, hey, hey, I can help I can you. Help you. Help and I'm get like, that in there. dude, I'm going to need you to walk away. <laughs> get, I'll vacate the area pretty quickly. You didn't here. take the hint right away no. either. I felt bad because yeah. we were tired, hungry. Yeah, we had been going all day on just a granola bar. We didn't stop for lunch. Nope. Barely Looked any right water and five hours of moving stuff. Yeah. And it got hot out. It's, it's Sarasota. Yeah. And it was like 75 degrees. Yeah. And it was just, it was just a painful day. It was a painful was day. Painful. Scout was pissed. Oh my God, he wanted out so bad today. Yeah. Because it was a gorgeous day. Yeah. So he knew, he felt it, that it was a good day. And he wanted to just run around and he couldn't. Couldn't do it because of the, there was just chaos everywhere. And, he, and then he had to go to the bathroom and I didn't know that that was, he was freaking out because he had yeah. a potty. And I just thought he wanted out because he poo pooed yesterday. So I was like, he shouldn't have to poo poo, but he had to poo poo. So he pooed in his carrier, ran through it. It's in his toes. It's on his belly. It's on the side of his tail. Uh. And I had to take him out, wipe him down in his bed. And it was a god awful yeah. smell. Right now, it's about, what, a little after 8 o'clock yeah. p.m. Mm -hmm. And um, so we'll probably be up. You know, for several hours, just kind of four hours, we'll get getting things yeah. normal, normalized. Somewhere we can sit and enjoy it. Yeah, at least because we're not the type of people to just let it hang out. Oh no, my OCD can't. This is killing me. No, um, but it was cool. It was it was a good experience. All the guys over yeah. at RV One were really great. Very polite, very helpful when uh, needed. Yeah, um, we're not going to show you around the RV right now. No, uh, we just it. wanted to talk about. Our adventures going to Georgia and back, and getting the RV yeah. and getting back, and so now the Montana's <laughs> gone. We're we're in the Alliance. We're happy to be in the Alliance. Yes. Uh, it's just different. We got to get used to everything, mm -hmm. but very cool. Yes. And I can't wait to get it all settled in and get normal. Yes, when I can say all is right in the world, <laughs> and I can sit down and kick back and relax. Yeah. So um, it'll take us a few days to get to that. So yeah. next. Next week's video will be a walkthrough after we've already got everything kind of settled in and everything yeah. in its place. And so it looks normal because if we do a walkthrough right now, it'll look all crazy. Yeah. But um, anyway, um, crazy day. We're going to mm -hmm. close out the video for now, but we're going to get to work so that we can yes. get it all normal so that we can take you on a proper <laughs> walkthrough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Um, if you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets, everything you need to know is in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.